Um, hopefully you can hear me over the noise of the machine. I've got my embroidery machine going right now. Um, but I was wanted to do a quick video to show you how to um, save your cut your uh, embroidery file as a, a PNG so you can transfer it over to your Silhouette software and turn it into a cut file. Um, this is the first time I've ever done this, so please uh, bear with me. I'm going to try and do this one-handed. I don't have a tripod or anything. This is uh, just me holding the camera. So I'm going to do this, the soccer lip balm. And uh, what you want to do, I, I use Floriani Total Control U. Um, all the softwares I'm sure will be different, but I have the option to export image. And I'm going to export it as a PNG. And it's already in my cameo folder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do soccer. And actually, I saved it already. So I saved it as soccer bomb. Um, and then when you save it, I'll go ahead and resave it. It's not a big deal. It'll just ask me if I want to re replace it. It's going to come up and ask you the, or it's going to give you the size, which is about 6.32 inches tall by 1.32. I just hit OK because when I open it in the software anyway, it's going to, um, where is it? It's going to make it super duper tiny, which is really annoying, but I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. Okay, so we're going to go back to the design. Um, I've already, I already basically made the cut file. This is the cut file that you're going to end up with. Um, but you're going to go over and open your file. And do do do. Find my soccer ball. It's in here somewhere. Figure out all the other stuff that's in here. Okay, there's my soccer ball. And then OK. And see, it makes it super duper tiny. And so, got to click on it and make it bigger. And I just look at the size as you go and try to get it as close to the measurements that it said in the software as possible. And I'm going to hit pause for just a second so I can do this with both hands. Okay, so I've resized it. Um, the measurements in the in the embroidery software were 6.32 by 1.32, so that's pretty much what I have there. And this is still just an image, so to create a cut file we'll have to trace it. And again, this is all done in Silhouette Studio. I would assume that you'd be able to do this with a Cricut, with the Cricut software. Um, I, I'm not familiar with it, so I couldn't tell you how to do it, but this is how we're doing it in Silhouette. Um, and for this, I'm just gonna trace outer edge. I am not pull the threshold, the threshold all the way up so that it outlines the whole thing. And then I just do trace outer edge I know I'm, my camera is so shaky right now. I don't know why I have the shake so bad. Um, so then if you move that, then there's your cut file. That's what's going to cut out. If you were just to cut out the exact, that's where the stitches would be. So obviously you don't want to cut that out. We're going to take this and use it for the offset. So offset. Where is it? There it is. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I don't know why it's doing that so bad. Sorry guys. Okay, so offset, where my mouse go, and um, it automatically defaults to an eighth of an inch, which is the 0 0.125, and I did one before with that measurement, and it, it turned out good, I just, I felt like it was a little too thick for me, so you, you can play around with the settings and, and try out what you want, um, but I ended up doing the... Uh, Flip flop lip balms that I'm doing with the 0.105, which is just a little bit, like tiny bit bigger than one tenth of an inch, and then I leave it at the rounded edges, and apply. Okay, so now you have your. This is your what you're gonna cut out. This is the one that's bigger than your actual stitches. This one you can you can get rid of. You don't really need it. Delete. Um, but. So I mean, you could essentially cut it out th like this now if you wanted to. You could um, add in to have your cameo cut the holes too. I did that on the lip balm ones. I'm doing the eyelet, and I just measured the the um, hole 
the it's a micropodile, which is the three sixteenths of an inch. So I drew a circle that size and put it over in the design. Um, and then with the ones that have pockets, you could just lay your vinyl over it and then just follow the vinyl that's underneath it as your cut guide. Or if you wanted to, you can make pockets, which is what I did. Um, as you, I, like I said, I already did a soccer one. Um, I made a pocket and then I offset it and then I cut it out. <laughs> and that's what I used for the uh, flip flop flip bomb ones. This, uh, I'll show you how I did it. Hold on a second. I'm going to pause again. Okay. So how I made the pocket. I go over to our drawing tools and I used, uh, what's this one called? I don't remember, the rounded rectangle. And then I just kind of went just slightly over the line, drew a rectangle, obviously that's too big. Um, I'm just, I'm not gonna make it exactly the perfect size right now. I, I spent a few minutes uh, before I cut them, making sure that everything was lined up and was the right size. Uh, but you're ultimately going to make it, you know, the same size as this. And actually, now that I'm thinking of it, you could probably just use this and make it anyway. Um, but because the top is usually a nice, um, you got the nice 90 degree angles and this is obviously rounded. What I did was I then drew a rectangle over it, just right on top, kind of the same, um, go just a bit above and then draw it down so that I can weld those two together so you've got the square top and the rounded bottom. I'm trying to do this one handed, oh my goodness. Um, here, let's move this and uh, I'm gonna zoom in on my thing, I'm trying to watch this through the camera. This is interesting. Okay, so um, I would need to take, oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, again. And just kind of line it up so that, you want your edges to match obviously, because you're gonna weld these together. I found when I tried to weld them um, when they were just lines like that, that they didn't want to weld very good. If it works for you, great. If not, I just make it a solid color and then I weld it. Weld. Okay. Yeah, that's, see, this one's got the kind of a little funky. Um, so that would be the size of your pocket with where the stitches are. So the outer edge would be the stitches. So obviously you want to then offset it just like you did with your cut file that you made. And again, we're gonna do uh, 0.105. Okay. Did I do that right? Okay, I did. Um, but instead of doing the rounded edge, choose the corner so that you still get the nice corners up at the top. And then apply. And there is your pocket edge, or I'm sorry, your pocket to put on the front of the lip balm holder. So essentially what you're going to be cutting, oh, I should really get a tripod for this. It'll make this so much easier. So you're going to cut two of these and one of these for one lip balm. Um, So you can duplicate. I, I can't do this one handed, but what I basically did was I made two of them and I flipped one as a mirror image just in case, um, the way, you know, it, it came out so that the, the edges would basically line up. I did one earlier that had cutouts in it. And so I had to mirror image it so that they still matched up. Um, but you can cut out all of that. And then when you go to stitch it out, um, you know, I'll do, I can add on to this video for that. Hold on. 